Hey guys, welcome to my year 5 artisan farm with no mods. So firstly to show off my room, I decided to show you the little lounge room. So I've got this little fireplace here and this little TV area that was really cute. Over down here is my kitchen and down at the bottom there is where I make my coffee. Up here is another resting area, more of just a chill laid back area. I also then have the kids' room, which is a little more customized for toddlers. So now to show off the farm. Here is usually where I grow my coffees. I really didn't use too many coffees for a little bit, so this was more just a, a grind to get my espressos going. And then this was the outside. I wanted to show a spring because I think spring looks absolutely amazing on the farm. Here's my little area to show off the gold clock that I have. Here's a little area that I use for grass. I usually bought my hay, but in worst case scenarios, if I did need some grass, I would just replenish this grass and use the hay for the silo. Over here is pretty much where I grew 400 of my crops. Here I've got the little geminas clearing them out, so I thought I'll just leave them as I show you the rest of the farm. So over here I wanted it to look a little bit relaxing. I've got my oil makers at the front. And then I had each obelisk available from the wizard at the back here for teleportation. To show off my first shed, this is my first shed. I had the preserve jars at the back, my furnaces and my chrysalariums using most of my work and this was my storage for most of my playthrough. Over to the left here I do have my bee houses. There are 20 bee houses here to produce 20 honeys and I grew them around the flowers. Over here is my greenhouse and within my greenhouse I had it all as ancient fruit for my kegs and my peaches and pomegranates as they made a lot of money when preserved into jelly. Over here I had a little area that I decided to use rhubarb. I originally was using flowers but I kind of liked using the rhubarb here and both these sheds do have kegs in them. I did theme them a little bit. This was more of like an adventure room. Most of my wines were produced in this shed. So you'll see me grab some fruit so I can show you the other sheds. Now this shed had an underwater theme. I really like that the walls look like it almost made a face, but I've always wanted an underwater shed. So I think I really nailed it here. This was also my backup for extra wines when the first shed was completely full. So I grabbed some wines that I made for that week and then decided to show you guys my animals. I have this little space for them that I usually keep them gated in. And I do have this coop that I've designed a little bit. As you can see, I've been a bit lazy with the eggs. So decided to refill them here to make me more main eggs. and replace my milk so I can make more cheeses. I've also done a little design at the front here, just to add a little touch. I then wanted to show you guys my syrups. Even though syrups are considered artisan goods, they actually don't benefit from the farming level 10 artisan perk. I actually benefit from the foraging perk at level 10 where syrups are worth 25% more. I had this lower section which I farmed to make more kegs. And then had this little seating area for my pond. I thought it was pretty cute. I do have two ponds, one with super cucumber and one with rainbow trout. Right next to another shed. This shed was more of a laid back adventure shed. Over here on the right side, I did decide to plant one of every fruit tree, more for decoration item, but also to help out the preserved jars if the peaches and the pomegranates in the greenhouse weren't enough. On this section here, I had my wood farming area, although I do have Cindersat Forest and other areas of Sardew Valley to gather my wood. I always seemed like I was running out of wood, so I kept this little area for my wood. I know in a lot of playthroughs people like to use a slime hunch, but I actually don't like slimes. So I decided against it for this farm and just purely using it for artisan goods. 
Just to show you guys how much money I was making, I did decide to sell some of my artisan goods. And at the end of this day, I made over $1 million from just artisan goods. I usually saved all my products till the end of the week, or if I was really desperate on money, I decided to sell just then and there. I also wanted to show you guys my farm, what it looked like when I grew pumpkins. I had a lot of huge pumpkins grown. And I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when I had winter forageables and I finally put down the Jamino huts. Even though I don't visit Ginger Island that often, I did design the Ginger Island farmhouse. So I had a little bedroom here, a little seating area by my little aquarium, and my little dining room and lounge room over on this side. And I didn't use the farming space too much, but I did use it for my taro, my pineapples, my banana, and my mangoes. This was the layout I decided to go with. Not using too much space, which was perfect for me. And that is all I have to show you guys for my year 5 farm on both Ginger Island and my Pelican Town farm. So thank you so much for joining. If you do want to catch me live, I'm on twitch.tv forward slash fuzzerino. And if you want to catch me on my socials, they're down in the description. Thank you so much for joining. Have a lovely day, guys. See you next time.